Hey guys, Martin here from Mattress Clarity. It used to be if you were a bigger person, it was really hard to find a mattress to be supportive and comfortable enough for you. But in the last few years, a lot of mattress companies have started to produce mattresses made specifically with heavier people in mind. And really out in front for the last year and a half or so has been the Big Fig, a very popular mattress for larger people. And then recently, Brooklyn Bedding released the Titan, another mattress made for heavy people as well. So I wanna see how the Titan compared to the Big Fig, one of its main competitors. So I wanna talk about the construction of both these mattresses, the similarities, the differences, and who should get one over the other. Let's get started. So let's start off by talking about the similarities between these two mattresses. Well, first off, they're both made specifically for heavier people. They're made to handle much heavier weights. In addition, they are both hybrid mattresses, so they have supportive coils and some softer foam layers on top. They are both a good match for hot sleepers. And then last but not least, they are both very durable mattresses. And now let's talk about the differences between these two mattresses. First off, the Titan is going to be significantly more affordable than the Big Fig. The Big Fig is going to be a few inches taller than the Titan. Now the Titan, in my experience, is going to be a bit firmer than the Big Fig. And then last but not least, and I will talk about this in the next section, while their constructions are very similar, there are some different materials in both these mattresses. For instance, the Big Fig does feature latex, while the Titan does not. So I wanna talk about the construction of both these mattresses. But first, if you want information about either of these mattresses in terms of construction or more information in general, definitely check out the individual reviews on mattressclarity.com. But let's start on top and work our way down. First, over on the Big Fig, you have a very soft cover tufted with a poly foam. On the Titan, you have a soft cover as well tufted with a gel memory foam. Then moving down over on the Big Fig, you're gonna have a layer of latex foam, which is gonna be infused with gel. Beneath that, you have three layers of poly foam that ease you down to the coils beneath that. Now over on the Titan, beneath the cover, the tufted cover, you have a layer of Titan Flex foam. And then moving down to the coils on both mattresses, with the Big Fig first, you can have pocketed coils, very high grade, very supportive. Over on the Titan here, you can have Titan caliber coils, very supportive as well. So what does that mean? Well, first I've mentioned a couple times, both these mattresses are made for heavier people. They should be able to handle much heavier weights. They have very supportive coils, some high density foams as well. Should be able to handle the weight even of 300 to 500 pounds. In addition, these very uh, durable materials are gonna make these mattresses longer lasting. So again, coils, high density foams, latex over the big fig, longer lasting materials, good long-term investment for both these mattresses. Now, the constructions are very similar, but the feels are gonna be a little bit different. I'll talk about that in the next section, but with the latex and the big fig and the thicker comfort layer, that feel is gonna be slightly different than the Titan. And then last but not least, it's going to be both breathable mattresses, a lot of room for airflow with the coils on both mattresses. However, if you're a hot sleeper, you want something made specifically for hot sleepers, take a look at the Titan. They're going to have gel on that top layer. It's going to make the top of the mattress quite cool. And you can even opt for a cooling gel panel as well. And now let's talk about differences in firmness and feel. In terms of firmness, I thought the Big Fig was an eight out of 10. The Titan was closer to an eight and a half or a nine out of 10. I will just note, I'm 230 pounds and both these mattresses are made to handle much heavier weights between 300 and 500 pounds. So if you weigh much more than me, you could press further into both mattresses and feel some different firmnesses than I did. But for me, eight on the Big Fig, eight and a half or nine with the Titan. Now, in terms of feel, they have a slightly different feel, a similar construction, but a slightly different feel. So with the Big Fig, you have a thicker comfort layer. You also have latex in there with some more bounce. So definitely a bouncier mattress overall than the Titan. Now the Titan dropping the cross ball on top, it kind of dies there because you have that gel memory foam layer on top. And I think that's why that happens, but they both have coils in them. So there is real ease of movement on both mattresses. I'm not stuck in either mattress, very easy to move around, but because of the thickness of the comfort layer, and the big fig and how the comfort layer is not that thick over on the Titan. The feels are gonna be different in the way that you have more of an inner spring feel with the Titan and more of that balanced hybrid feel overall with the big fig. Let's talk about how I feel in different sleeping positions on both these mattresses. Starting on the big fig on my back, the mattress is definitely firmer than average. I wish my hips could sink in a little bit further, but I think if you're a heavier back sleeper, much heavier than me, it's gonna be a good match for you. 
Now moving to my side though, I am feeling some pressure on my shoulders and my hips. Not the best match for me side sleeping. Again, if you're much heavier, you could press into the polyfoam layers further than I did, the top polyfoam layer, the latex layer, and the polyfoam. So you can feel some better pressure relief than I did. But moving to my stomach, a good match for me overall. Stomach sleeping, my hips aren't bowing in whatsoever. Very good match for stomach sleeping. Now moving over to the Titan, starting on my back, the mattress is too firm for me. I feel like my hips are being kind of pushed out of the mattress and you want more of that balance of comfort and support when you're back sleeping. So for me, not the best match for back sleeping. I think even heavier people will feel the same. Moving to my side, I'm feeling even more pressure on my shoulders and my hips. Again, a firmer mattress, so not the best match for me side sleeping. If you are much larger than me, it could be a different story for you, however. Now moving to my stomach, definitely a good match for me. Again, firmer than average, my hips aren't sinking in at all, an even better match for stomach sleeping on the Titan than on the Big Fig. So here at Mattress Creator, you like to mix subjective opinion with objective tests. And one of those tests is the pressure map. So what we do is put the pressure map on the mattress. I lie down on my backside and stomach. You see anywhere from blue for no pressure, all the way up to red for high pressure. So pulling up the side saving results for both these mattresses, you'll see in the big fig a little bit of red on my hips, on the Titan a little bit of red on my shoulder. That lets me know that the pressure relief's about even with both these mattresses. Now, if you sleep with a partner, there's two things you definitely want to think about. It's motion transfer and edge support. Now, motion transfer means you're lying down on one side of the mattress and your partner moves around on the other side. Are you going to feel that motion or not? And edge support refers to what I'm doing right now. I'm sitting down near the edge of the mattress. Will the mattress compress and make you feel you're going to fall off? Also, when you're lying down, will you feel like you're going to roll off the mattress overall? But speaking first of motion transfer, the Big Fig handles motion transfer, in my experience, better than the Titan. And I think it's because you have some very high density layers in the top there, high density foam layers, more of those layers than you get over in the Titan. So handles motion transfer better than the Titan. And also speaking of edge support, I think the Big Fig wins out as well. It is not as firm as the Titan overall, but it doesn't compress quite so much when I sit near the edge and lying down at the edge, I feel more secure on the Big Fig. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, which one of these mattresses should you get? In terms of who should get the Big Fig, first off, I think if you're a heavier back sleeper, the Big Fig is definitely the better option for you. It is the softer of the two mattresses. It allows your hips to sink in a little bit more than the Titan. Even if you're much heavier, your hips will sink in just the right amount to those top layers. A very nice match for back sleeping. Also, if you're looking for something more luxury and more durable, I think the Big Fig is the way to go over the Titan. The Big Fig definitely has some more premium materials, definitely some more durable materials. I think between the two, it should be a better long-term investment. And last but not least, if you're looking for more of a balanced hybrid feel, I would go with the Big Fig. While you do have coils in the mattress, you're not really feeling them. You're mostly feeling the high density foams on top. So while there are coils, they're mostly just giving you support and not really affecting the feel. In terms of who should get the Titan, I think if you're a heavier stomach sleeper, I would go with the Titan. It is definitely the firmer of the two mattresses. Your hips won't bow in quite so much when you're on your stomach. You should definitely feel the support you need when you're stomach sleeping. In addition, if you're looking for a more affordable mattress, I would go with the Titan. Right now it is $800 less than the Big Fig, so if you think that both mattresses could work for you, choosing the Titan could save you some money. And then last but not least, if you're looking for a mattress with more of an inner spring feel, the Titan is definitely the better choice. You're definitely feeling the coils when you're on this mattress. While it is a hybrid mattress, you're mostly feeling the coils, so if you prefer that inner spring feel overall, I would go with the Titan. In the end, it shouldn't be too hard to choose between these two mattresses, but if you're still a little bit confused, you want a personal recommendation, you can just leave a comment below. Also, if you want to see a list of my top picks for heavy people, Google Mattress Clarity, Best Mattress for Heavy People, and again, let me know if you have any questions.